Hi everyone. So, have you ever wondered what actually goes to make a successful business? Why is it that one business can be really successful and yet another business crashes and burns? Well, in any business, it doesn't matter what it is, right from the smallest electrician right up to the largest multinational, they all need to have three core components. The first one is their lead generation system, because without a lead generation system, how the heck are they going to be able to get any interest from anybody to know what they have? So you've got to have a way for people to show interest in what you have. The second key area that you've got to do is when someone says, hey man, I'm interested, that sounds like a great idea, tell me more about it, you actually have to have a great sales and conversion system so that it turns them from being a lead or a prospect into becoming a client. Makes sense, doesn't it? And then once you've actually achieved that and they've given you their money, here comes the most important part, and that is you actually delivering on your promises. So you said, hey guys, here I am, I've got this wonderful solution to your problem. They hand you some money because they've trusted you, they can solve their problem, and then it's up to you to keep that promise and absolutely blow the client away with how you've resolved their issue. So three things, that's really all it takes. So the real question is, how well are you mastering these three core principles in your business? Is one weaker than the other? Well, in this episode, I'm going to just cover off on lead generation. I'm going to talk to you about how to craft a lead generation system for your business. Okay, you got a pen and paper? I want you to answer this question. Okay, scale of one to 10, how good is your lead generation system? Do you know how many leads are going to be coming into your business right now? Do you know how many leads are going to come in over the next week? Have you got a reliable, predictable lead generation process happening in your company? In fact, that's one of the major reasons why most businesses fail. They don't know how to attract enough clients to their business. So let's look at that, shall we? That's what I'm going to cover off in this training session. Creating the lead generation for your business. And it all comes down to this, the marketing triangle. Now, this is a very simple process, and I want you to grab your pen right now, and I want you to draw a triangle, just like this, on your page. Now, you've got the triangle, there are three components to this. On the first, you need to look at your market. Now, it's very important for you to understand who your market is, who you're actually talking to. Secondly, you then need to be looking at your message. Okay, so if you've got a market over here, then you've got to be determining what you want to say to the market. So that is your message, which goes on the other side of your triangle. And then the final piece of the puzzle is your media. So this is who, what process you're going to use to get your message out. Is it going to be radio? Is it going to be TV? Is it going to be newspapers? Is it going to be email? Is it going to be online? Is it going to be Facebook? Whatever the media is that you're going to utilize to get your message out to the marketplace. Now before I do any marketing campaign, I always draw out that triangle and I always think about my market, my message and my media. And the better that I actually tighten that up, the bigger the results that I get in my campaigns. So let's just look at this for a second. Let's just say that we want to talk about a product. And let's just say that you've got an aged care uh, center. Because now, guys, once again, uh, this is another conversation totally different to this one. But whenever you're looking at getting involved in a business, you wanna make sure you've got a hungry crowd out there. And one big hungry crowd right now is people that are getting older. People that, we've got an aging demographic here. So a lot of people are going to start ending up in aged care or, or cared uh, living where they're gonna be looked after. So this is a great product for you to be looking at as a potential. So let's use this as an example for the marketing triangle. So you've got an aged care center, let's say. So with that aged care center, rather than you saying, hey, I've got an aged care center, let me go and say to everyone, hey, come and use my aged care center because I'm really great and I want your money. That's not a good message. Why don't we just backtrack it for a second, ladies and gentlemen? Why don't you actually start thinking about your prospect, the person that you're meant to be helping, the person that's actually going to be handing money over to you, and why don't you actually say to yourself, well, what do these people really want? Okay, they're getting older. Why don't I put myself in their shoes and why don't I actually really think about the problems that they're going to be facing as they're getting older? Now, let's face it guys, if you're getting older, do you like the idea of your children telling you what to do, where you gotta stay, how you gotta act, 
where you're going to get your money from. These are all fears, these are all frustrations and concerns that older elderly individuals may have when they're thinking of getting an aged care facility. One of the big things are, are that they want their independence. I know this because I had to manage that process with my father as he got older. So it might be helpful for all of you to rent out a video that has Mel Gibson in it. Some of you may not like him anymore, he went a bit off the reservation, but Mel Gibson made a fantastic movie called What Women Want. And essentially what happened was, he actually had a bit of an accident with a hairdryer, he fell into a bathtub, he electrocuted himself and he didn't die, but when he came back out he could read women's minds. And he got up to a lot of mischief with it, I've got to tell you, but the thing was he started thinking from the other person's perspective. And this is what makes a great marketer, is you actually always need to look from the other person's point of view of what they really need and require not what you want to sell them. And this is the biggest issue that most business owners have. So let's start thinking about these elderly people. They, we know they want independence. We know that people um, are worried because uh, we're going to dish out an allowance to them. They're like 70 years old and we're going to say, OK, Pete, you've got $10 that you can spend. These are all the sort of things that really would be weighing on their minds. So if you've got an aged care facility, do you think that you could actually create a message that could resonate with them? Of course you could. It could go something along the lines of, hey, you're looking for the ideal place to live where you still retain all your independence, you're the one that still calls the shots, and you know what? You just don't need to worry about the hassles of looking after your own property anymore. Well, come and have a talk to us because you're about to have one of the most amazing lifestyles. Your life begins at 70 and you're going to meet amazing people and have the time of your life. That's creating a right message for the marketplace, ladies and gentlemen, okay? And then you've just got to decide what the media is that you may want to put it in. Now, in this day and age, now there's many, many media that you can use. Media is splintered into so many places, and this is why newspapers and radio and TV are not as effective as they used to be, but they still work, ladies and gentlemen. But let's just say you want to get your message out through Facebook, because what you can do with Facebook is you can target your message right to those individuals that are in your age group. So if you target your message to those individuals through Facebook, you say, right, well, I want people that have got an income of uh, at least 60,000 and above. I want to target men and women uh, aged 65 and above. Uh, and I also uh, want to make sure that they uh, live in a certain demographic uh, because they're going to be close to their children. So uh, my aged care facility is in Strathfield in, in uh, New South Wales. So I want to make sure maybe I'm going to do it within a, a 30 kilometre radius because the, the children still come and visit. So when you actually develop a tight uh, market data like that that you put your message out to, you're going to have the right market, you're going to develop the right message, and you're going to use the right media. So ladies and gentlemen, what I've just explained to you is the beginnings of you creating your lead generation system. And it doesn't come from you having a product you want to sell to the market, it comes from you having a marketplace that you want to provide a solution to.